Hi, welcome back to another FSD beta video. Today we are on 10.6.1. We are here in Palo Alto, California, and I'm gonna see how well the car does to get me to Stanford Hospital. Um, I'm gonna pretend like, you know, this is America, I can't afford two grand for an ambulance. So you let's see if my car can get me there. Uh, it's doing good so far. Got us out of the cul-de-sac we started in. Doing a good job waiting here at the stop sign. And it's continuing with ease. Um, thank you guys so much for joining us. If you're new to our channel, um, feel free to subscribe. It costs you nothing. Um, and if you're uh, a veteran of the channel, you know, feel free to like this video. Lights turn to red on us. The cars come to a good stop. Wheel turn a little left here. It is clear to go. And we continue on our route. I have to say it's already doing a lot better than uh, our downtown San Jose video on 10.6. If you haven't watched that yet, you know, feel free to, uh, to go watch that. It was quite a video. But this is already a lot better. This is 10.61. Now turn right onto Embarcadero Road. So it's kind of slowing as if it was going to stop before they keep clear, but it is now idling through it. Now that biker is out of the roadway, it seems to be a lot more confident. We got some blinding light here. The car is doing a good job though, even though we are completely being blinded by that sun. I'd like to take this time to uh, thank everyone who has supported our channel over the last 10 months of us, you know, doing these videos. We, uh, re I, I reinvest 100% of all the money from this community back into these videos. So, uh, you know, if you uh, want to, you know, keep them coming, you know, feel free to check out our Patreon in the link in the description as well. Um, I appreciate each and every single one of you have, who have supported our journey. Um, here, this car is turning left. It's very blinded by the sun here. It's doing a good job of slowing down. I'd personally go around them, but there's way too many cars for me, even as a human, to pull out. So the car is doing a good job of just maintaining its place behind the Fiat. And there we go. Shut off. It's an H2 at the memory card. Sorry, guys, about that. Um, oh, it's going really quick here. I'd slow down. Uh, ooh, I'm not sure what we're really doing here. Oh, it's being aggressive. I actually really like that. That was nice. Oh, but then the steering wheel went a little right, but we're okay. We need to get over, but actually, I don't think we do. I don't know why that blinker was going. Sorry about that, guys. We lost you for a second here in the cabin. My GoPro decided to shut itself down. I guess I had a malfunction with the memory card, but we have you back. So we will need to turn right up here. See if the car does turn its blinker on. It does. And it does a really good job of merging over and while having a huge glare from the sun here. Sorry, do you mind pin that back up? Now turn right onto Arboretum Road. So here's a roundabout. I just believe it, yeah. Here we go. It's a little cheating roundabout, I have to admit. And it does a really good job going through those uh, little S curves. 
Now we are on the Stanford uh, University campus. Uh, I'm just trekking through the campus to the uh, Stanford Hospital now. Now turn left onto Quarry Road. A little squirrely wheel right there, but it did do a fine job of eventually getting us right here in the lane quickly, slowing down for the Subaru. In 500 feet, turn right onto Welch Road. And then stop in for the yellow light. <laughs> Alright, we need to turn right up here and go across this bike lane, and the car does a, yeah, does a good job at it. Now turn right onto Welch Road. We have the green light for the right. Tessa does it. Look at that. I really like, I've noticed in this update, I set the speed at 35 at the very beginning of the uh, drive. And normally when it sees a new sign, it corrects to what the sign said, the new sign says. Um, and you have to readjust. I didn't have to ever readjust on this update, I'm just realizing. And that's, uh, yeah, definitely one of the first things I'm noticing about this. So the sun glare is quite atrocious. I didn't even know that the light turned green and the Tesla started going and then I didn't notice it went green. It saw it before I could even process it with, with the sun glare. Now turn left onto Pasture Drive. Nice. It was really certain that I wanted to go in the left lane there. In 500 feet, your destination will be on the right. Your destination is on the right. And just like that, the Tesla got me to the Stanford Emergency Center without with zero disengagements. I mean, I'm, I'm quite impressed. At least now I know if I don't want to pay two grand for a you know ambulance here in America, I can just put FSD on in my heart. And if I'm if I notice the heart attack early enough, you know, um, I'm quite impressed. We're, I haven't turned it off. We're still just parked here, and this is exactly where the drop off is. So. Uh, you know, guys, thank you so much for joining us on our 10.6.1 update drive. And, um, I mean, this is no downtown San Jose video, so we haven't seen the extreme stress test yet. But so far, I'm impressed, and I'm enjoying it. Um, if you want to help support us, I mean, the community like you is who make us able to, you know, make these videos. Feel free to check out our Patreon in the description. See you next time, and goodbye.